It's canning time. Beef is what we're canning. I got stuff. Just went to the store. Got stuff on the table. I got jars done up here. Got six of them ready. And as you can see, I reuse jars. Uh, the companies do not recommend that you reuse them like that, but I do, and it works out fine. Okay, I'm going to knock my knife on the floor. Okay, I have those filled with beef. There's nothing in the jars but beef roast. And see, it left a good head space. Ones and a half, two inches on them. <clears throat> and we're going to get these canned up. <clears throat> A couple pickle jars I'm using. Got one that just still smelled like pickles and it's taking a bath. Hey, got a good old amount of beef down in there. That's a purple jar, so can't see it too well. But it's in there. Good, good. And what I do <clears throat> where there's a big slab of fat, I cut it up and put a little in each jar. Okay, let's move the purple one out of the way. I put a little in each jar so there's it makes some nice broth. There's nothing going in here, just a clean jar and the beef roast cut up to fit in. I mean, some's a little chunky and some's a little bigger cut, bigger slice. Anyway, we've got we've got beef ready to go in, seven jars. Like I said, there's nothing in the jar but the cut up beef roast. Um, I don't think I'm adding salt to these. I normally, I, I don't can with salt. <laughs> um, that's one perk about pressure canning. You don't have to add the salt. <clears throat> I may or may not. <clears throat> right now I'm leaning toward not. All I have to do though is now I've got my, I've got my wipe here ready. Oh, I went to get my vinegar out and forgot, but all I'll do is put some vinegar on here. And, you know, wipe the rim. So, you know, like all around. So I know it's nice and clean. And put the lid on. And then we're going to put them in the canner. Following the canner's directions for what it needs. And a little bit of vinegar in the water. So they don't come out coated and disgusting. And can it for 90 minutes. Since it's, there's pints in here. Uh, quartz in here. Quartz, quartz, quartz. 90 minutes. At my area is below 1,000 feet. So it's 10 pounds of pressure. You will have to check your altitude and see what the time is, other poundage is for, for your area. And some do increase time if they're very high. Anyway, got some beef roast canning up. They had a sale. And this is when you get it, when it's on sale. You can it up, and there will be, yep, I have seven here. <clears throat> I have enough for seven meals. We have one little roast in the crock pot. Should be done a little bit for dinner. And we have two more in the fridge, and I'm going to lid these up and decide if, if I want to stick the other two in or not. And I might can them tomorrow or later this evening with something else in with them. I like to do that, too. Oh, making some stew sounds good. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I might just put it in smaller jars and can it up to have, like, not really a family size serving, but um, a a jar to make noodles to have, like, beef and noodles for either the entree or a side. <clears throat> Probably entree. Anyway, um, there we go. It's very simple. Get it when it's on sale. Grab your jars, get it jarred up, get it canned up, get it on the shelf. Nice and yummy good. I still have my final one in this one. But you know, the fat will break, it will, you know, break down and make nice broth in there. They're going to be, they're going to have broth that's going to be rich enough and, and for, like, so it can be watered down a little bit. So it'll make nice, rich gravy. And I will do a cornstarch and water slurry with that when I reheat it. Hello, my love. Hi. And it's going to be good. But like I said, get one's on sale, can it up, save it now for later. So we have um, stuff for seven dinners here. 
And we're going to say praise God from whom all blessings flow. Ciao for now. We're making ciao for later.